It's how you measure your life Yes, singing's better than sleeping Cause you sleep the way you like So if you start singing Good, good morning, hope you're all doing well I've been super deep diving into sourdough recently. I'm gonna do some recipes and videos, I'm sure, in the near future. But this morning I woke up and I just wanted some bagels. And it's funny, because usually, like, when, once you get used to sourdough, you kind of condition yourself to realize it takes a long time. It's like a whole day, if not a two day process. Um, now, I used to think bagels took a long time, but since I've been doing so much sourdough, I'm like, oh, I could make bagels in like two or three hours. So this morning I got up, I started the process, and I wanna show you how I make them now. And within a few hours, you can have delicious, fresh baked bagels. So yeah, in here we have uh, three cups of water, some maple syrup. I think I did about a tablespoon of uh, instant yeast. Which so you have the ri the regular rapid yeast, which you have to add warm water to and bloom it. And then the instant yeast, you don't need to; it just automatically blooms. And um, there's some salt in here, water. Um, it's kind of lukewarm. And then I'm gonna add my flour, and that's pretty much it. Mix that around first, incorporate that. And now we'll switch to the dough hook. Do you wanna do the flour adding? Sure. Heck yeah. And some people, I watched in one of my brother's videos, he was saying about a 55% hydration rate. Um, but I'm not gonna measure, we're just gonna do this kind of by eye. Yeah. Ta -da -da -da. Okay, let me, uh, I'm gonna pull this up. And then we'll start, what we'll do is we'll start slowly mixing it together. And I like to do it by look, so I'm kind of looking for like, you can see there's obviously not that much flour now, it's pretty watery. As we add more flour, it will just keep coming together. And you can proof them overnight, but I want bagels now. I want my bagels now. Basically, whenever it's... Like whenever it's wet, I'll add flour, and then when it starts to get dry, I wait. And usually it still needs more flour, but I can kind of see like it's starting to come together a little bit. It's a good sign. So like we might actually be good. I, I think they're pulling away, but we'll see, because there's a lot of moisture maybe in the inside that's gonna start coming out. Yeah, see now it's starting to get a little more wet again. And you could of course do this by hand. It's a very important thing. If you don't have one of these fancy gadgets, you can do it by hand, it'll take longer, but it's also, it's also fun. And once, once it all comes together, we'll knead it. It'll take 15, 20 minutes, and then it's gonna get nice and smooth. Feel it now. It's sticky, but it's not sticking in your hands. See, or at least it might be a tiny bit, but my hands are clean and they're just kinda, yeah. And as we do that, it'll get smoother and smoother. Process. Basically, you have the ball here that's nice and smooth now, and we'll let that sit for like 30 minutes and rise. My successful black bean tempeh. Whoa. It's got a nice spring. If you look at it, it's like, oh, yeah. see how it kind of got like a little oh, bit of yeah. spring to it. It's got a nice mattress. Risen. Yeah, nice mattress. It has, it has a reason. Oh, shit. Yes. Jesus. It's Jesus. Jesus. Just to kind of get like a piece, yeah, and then you can just kind of roll it out. And we'll just make as many as this will make us. Yeah. So kind of do it here first. Usually the first couple, like I'm still getting my feel for it, and then it gets fairly easier. But yeah, I get like a little bagel, roll that piece out like that. We have our little bagel. Yeah, and then you just put them on some parchment paper. Sometimes instead of using the whole hand, they actually just use like two fingers too, that can help. Oh. If memory serves me. Oh, I love the cinnamon raisin, uh, poppy seed, just dope. Poppy seed and cinnamon raisin are mine. What about you? Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm on sesame, <clears throat> sesame everything. Nice. We have, we don't have any pop, we have everything bagel spice, we don't have poppy seed. That's okay. I like having different sizes too. 
too. Yeah. Hypnotizers are great. The only thing we'll have to watch for is when we bake them, just to make sure we you know, take the smaller ones out. They'll cook fat a little uh, faster. Good point. Yeah. So you but don't want them too diverse. It makes it just more difficult. To... Yeah, I mean you can. It's it, I like having different sizes because you can choose like what am I in the mood for? Don't yeah. want a big ass bagel. Don't want something just chill. Come on, Eric. Who has yep. risen? What's going on here? Making bagels? Yeah, yeah. can't be Easter Sunday without bagels. Okay, now I've got my bagels proofed. I did it for like, you could go longer. I did it only for like half an hour or so. Maybe feeling a little impatient this morning. But they're looking nice and they have risen. So we got this at a boil. Oh yeah. And we'll drop like maybe just, just a few in at a time. See what this thing can hold. We wanna boil them for like a minute on each side. You get four in there at a time, I think. It's essentially you boil them for a minute on each side and then then they go, they strain, they go right into the different toppings. I have like the sesame, the everything bagel, and then I just did like an herb mixture. If anyone can think of another weird topping that would be fun, we could try a couple. Chocolate? Sure. So now this goes, take one of these for example, just go right in. Yeah. You wanna flip it? Just kinda. Just be careful not to like squeeze it too much. Yeah. And then we have a little seasoned bagel. All right, so we got our seasoned bagels. Dropped them in here. Hey, Dude, yeah. this matches your shirt, man. Yeah. <laughs> that goes in there. Give it a little turn, sprinkle. Oh, sesame is there. Good. Yeah, I should get a bit of oh. That's a lot of heat. stuff like that is that you do a process like you know you start with blooming the yeast and, and, and kneading the dough and then you let it sit for a while you let it sit so perfect it's like a snowy Sunday day you let it sit grab a guitar play a song and then you know do some more stuff go back so you can kind of go back and forth and you have like these moments for like 30 minutes where you're in the kitchen and you're present and you're hanging out with the food and you go do the chores and the tasks and the creative hobby stuff you want and then you go back and eventually by the end you'll end up with something delicious. Let's check on these bagels. Bagels are done.
Last time I had a bagel. Is that the gears?